nation is an extended phenotype of race. The people of a racially homogeneous nation can afford the luxury of identifying themselves by patriotic national pride. The people of a multiracially fractured squatter zone cannot. They will be forced by tribalistic antagonisms and competing racial interests to identify by more primal signifiers, and those who remain committed to a deracinated higher order of national identity will eventually succumb to the undertow of ethnocentric aggrandizement and either sink into a malaise or expend huge mental and emotional energy acting tribally but thinking globally to assuage their cognitive dissonance and unresolved feelings of unease. Nothing will gel an implicit and explicit white identity faster than multiracial encirclement. If you value the concept of an American identity and think a white identity is gauche, then you'll support staunching the decline of the white population share of America and renewing the white majority so that it sits comfortably and securely at 80% or more of the total American population. You will support closing the borders to perpetual dirt world colonization and deporting the invaders who have set up shop here at the behest of the uniparty globo homoists who live and breathe for cheap votes and cheaper labor. It's past time we stopped pussyfooting around about this issue. Existential threats to a nation deserve existential truths in defiance. But presently, you simply sit at your office desk and ponder this, with a dead stare peering deeply into an LED screen for an answer you already know.